Please have a look at this chemical mixer. The propeller of the mixer is connected with the motor via a shaft. This shaft is supposed to have a reliable and robust seal. However, what if the seal fails? Here's another scenario. A big rotary crusher which suddenly gets stuck. Yes, you're right. The coupling and the motor can get damaged. Similarly, in the mixture, the chemical leaks out and can harm the worker as well as the machine. Does the engineer in you have a smart and permanent solution to this issue? We have a device called a magnetic coupler. The magnetic coupler can transmit torque between rotating shafts without any physical contact. It uses magnetic fields to transfer the power from one shaft to another. The coupler consists of two parts, a primary rotor and a secondary rotor. These rotors are separated by an air gap. In this video, we'll see the details of the workings of magnetic couplers with the help of FEA simulation by EMWorks. A magnetic coupler consists of two separate magnet assembly rotors. This magnet arrangement is called a synchronous magnetic coupler, and this is an axial-type magnetic coupler. Here is an example of a radial-type magnetic coupler. These rotors are mounted on the input and output shafts of the system. When we rotate the drive shaft using a motor, the poles of the magnet begin to overlap each other, causing a push-pull effect. The resulting force creates torque, which drives the output shaft. Let's use this radial magnetic coupler in the mixer. Yes, we've solved the problem. Here the driving and driven parts are isolated from each other, so there's no leakage issue in the system. Let's now use an axial magnetic coupler in a crusher. Here again, both rotors are isolated. If the load on the driven component is large, the two parts will move out of the synchronism and cease transmission of torque. This prevents damage of the crusher and deformation of the shaft. The motor is also saved from overloading here. The synchronous magnetic couplers are used in compressors and water pumps, as these equipment require constant speed to maintain the desired flow rate. The main disadvantage of the synchronous coupler is that if the load is working at slip speed, it may lead to decoupling. To overcome this problem, eddy current-based magnetic couplers are used. The eddy current coupler has a similar rotor arrangement as that of the axial synchronous coupler. The only difference is that the magnets of the output shaft are replaced with a copper disc. When the input shaft rotates, the magnetic field of the permanent magnet rotates along with it. This induces an electric current in the output copper disc. Here is the result of transient electromagnetic simulation done in EMWorks software. The eddy current formation is illustrated here. Here, the yellow spot areas are equivalent to the formation of magnetic poles. This magnetic pole interacts with the input magnet assembly and creates torque in the output shaft. The magnitude of the resultant torque can be adjusted by just changing the air gap distance between the rotors. If we increase the air gap distance, then the torque will be affected. As this coupling provides soft start and speed regulation, it's used in roller conveyors. The magnetic couplers have several advantages and limitations, which are listed here. You might be aware that Lesix is fighting for survival. Please support us at Patreon to save our channel. Thank you.